in this short video, I want to show every step that I follow in order to remove an amalgam and use Activa Restorative. First of all, I want to decontaminate the tooth, removing all the bacterial plaque. After that, I want to remove the amalgam with a new transmetal burr. In this way, I am sure that I'm not going to produce heat. I love to use fluorescent light in order to know if there's still infected dentin. After the etching process, I apply my bonding agent following the instructions from the manufacturer. And this is the first step in which I use Activa Restorative. I put a little bit of material and with a micro brush I'm, I'm going to distribute the material so I can be sure that every wall, every detail is going to have a thin layer of Activa Restorative. When this is done I am going to use the metal tip as the instrument so I can start building up the cusps. Remember to always cure every increment, so you're going to start seeing a little bit of anatomy. But remember, this is just the second step in order to have a beautiful anatomy. On the third step, we're going to start applying little increments, and we are going to build up more details on every cusp. And when we are done with this third step, we are ready to polish. After we are done with the polishing process, I love to apply Zeal and Shine from Poldent. And this is how I use this beautiful material to get awesome anatomical results.